All right, guys, welcome back to episode number seven of the Unranked to Master series. In this game, we're playing Riven against Fiora right now, and that's actually quite an interesting matchup. It's like slightly favored for Fiora. Fiora is slightly better, but uh, Riven will be able to win. We will be able to win easily if we outplay her. The better player wins in this matchup. It's all based on skill. Um, also, I'm playing Ignite with Nimbus Cloak in this game. Um, quickly going over the setup, we have Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End with Transcendence, as well as Nimbus Cloak. Now for the build, I'm not sure what I'm going to build yet. I'll see, uh, depends on uh, how hard I'm going to snowball. If I don't snowball in lane, I'll go for Gore Drinker. If I snowball really hard, then I'll probably go for Eclipse or Prowler's Claw. Uh, it's going to depend. It really depends, because they have like a team comp, which we can snowball on very easily, so... We'll see. First of all, against Fiora, you can you can technically fight her level 1, although I would recommend just waiting for level 3, because... Level 1 and 2 is difficult. Depends on the creeps and everything. If you have, like, the, the creep advantage, you can fight her, but if she has the creep advantage, you shouldn't be fighting her, so... Alright. Now we can at least start fighting her, since we have the level 2. I'm gonna... As soon as we get level 3 right now, it's gonna be a lot easier for us. Nice. Now we can actually start playing. Okay, so the way how this matchup works is super straightforward. You wanna... You always want to change your trading patterns against Fiora. Because of her parry. There are multiple ways to trade Fiora without her being able to react to your W. Like, one of them is like EW into auto Q, which I'm going to show right now. I'm actually going to kill her right here. I got Nimbus Cloak. See you later. Bye. So, this is what I like so much about playing Riven with Ignite, as well as Nimbus Cloak. Once you actually use your Ignite, and you proc the Nimbus Cloak, you can just chase down a Fiora. Even if she flashes away from you, you can just chase with Nimbus Cloak. Since it provides like so much movement speed. You don't have to use your flash to chase anymore. Now you always want to play Nimbus Cloak if you play with Ignite. If you play with TP, do not ever take Nimbus Cloak. Like, don't take it. Uh, I'm just gonna take. Uh, I'm just gonna take another long sword, actually. There we go. So once again, if you play with TP, do not play with Nimbus Cloak. If you play with Ignite, only then you want to play with Nimbus Cloak. Only then. Now, as far as the build, I'm still not really sure yet what I'm gonna build. We'll see what we 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 will see what we do. If I don't get to snowball that hard, I'm just going to go Eclipse. If I snowball, like, extremely hard, I'll just go for Prowler's Claw. But having Eclipse in this matchup is uh, better for the sustain and everything. That's why I'm not... Uh, that's why I haven't really decided yet. What is she going to do? She's going to try to, like, auto... Yeah, she's going to try to auto this. Watch this. Okay. That's her bone plating. That's worth it for me because she hasn't got the plating yet. And the bone plating is huge. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to trade for your watch this. You EW into... Whatever she does afterwards, as long as you follow up with like an auto on the last, like you should be able to, ev like to even out the trade or be able to win. Her parry was down right now. At, like, as soon as you trade Fiora and she uses her parry to, to even out the train, she becomes vulnerable because her parry is like... Um, it's like... Um, like a 15 second cooldown or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it's, it's a huge cooldown. If you trade her once, you can just trade her again after and then uh, she won't have the parry. So like, I think like 15, 16, maybe, maybe 18 seconds. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this right now. 
Oh, grab it like another longsword. Alright. I'm just gonna go with Eclipse in this game. If, once again, if you're not snowballing against Fiora, just go for the regular Gore Drinker. If you are snowballing, but you're not getting too many kills, and you still want to have a decent item for, you know, ending the game fast, just go Eclipse. And if you're, like, actually getting, like, a ton of kills, and, and it's just super easy for you, just go Prodder's Claw. It really depends. But for this game specifically, I'll just show you guys the Eclipse. As long as we don't get caught inside the parry, then we should be able to... I'm just going to land this guy right now. He has no parry anymore. Since we... Uh, once again, we used Ignite. We got the movement speed from the Nimbus Cloak. So all we had to do was just walk him... Walk, like, chase him down. And eventually kill him. I'm not really using Ignite for the damage right now. I'm just using it to gain the extra movement speed so I can chase him down all the way. Hey, looks like he's TPing. And let me place a ward down right here. I need like 700 gold right now. We're not going to be trading him here. If we go for like a QW into auto and he actually hits the parry, he can ult. And all in me afterwards. So I'm just going to allow this Fiora to push it towards me. I'm not even going to take that CS. I'm just going to let it go. We're just going to be kind of chilling out. We want this wave to be right here. We're just going to allow her to do whatever she wants to do. Do like an EW auto into Q backwards. So that she doesn't hit the parry. I'm going to see if I can... Q her like this. Nice. We can kill her again right now. The wave is actually getting pushed towards me, so... She can't farm right now. Nice. Just gonna keep holding it like this. If she goes back to base right now, she's going to miss an entire creep wave of farm. If she decides to stay, I'm going to kill her. We're going to be denying her a lot here. You see that? Fiora can't farm anymore because we're holding the wave like this. Nice. She currently has 39 CS. We have 64. Let's see what she's gonna do. She can farm at all. She will eventually tilt. You see, guys? She can farm. If she walks up close, I'll just EW into all, into all in. Keep holding it like this. We don't want to do anything else besides just holding it like this. Every time she gets close, we just want to walk up to her and force her backwards. And we got her. There we go. Now we can push and make her deny the whole wave again. Uh, Diana is coming topside right now. Mastery is also here, so I'll have to be a little careful when I take the platings. If Mastery shows right here, I could maybe dive him under turret without my R. Nice. I'll get another plating before I go back. Mastery is currently mid. Let's take another wave. She could have technically traded me here, but she wouldn't beat me. All 
Okay, we've got so many platings. We are so far ahead right now. Now we can go back. We got 2.7k gold right now. Let's get this. Well, they used my flash with Nimbus Cloak so I can run out of Diana using the movement speed. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I thought she was gonna troll. <laughs> no way, I thought that Fiora was gonna walk it down or something like that, but I, I don't know what happened to her. She was standing still. Maybe she lacked or something? Maybe she just purposely did that? I don't know. I, I thought she was going to troll there. And let's go with this. And we're going to get... We're going to go play the Steel Caps because they have mainly like AD in their team. Uh, I think for this game, I'm just going to go with Black Lever right now. Let's take it. And I will go for Rochenkin. What is bot lane? Maybe we can gank this. I don't really want to go top right now because it's getting pushed in by like two people. I'll just take the mid farm and maybe rotate bot lane or something. Nice. Oh, we can actually take platings. Nice. Perfect. More platings for us. The dragon is also alive. I can move up to it anytime. I'll take another plating. More platings for us. We're so fed right now. All these platings that we've got so far, it makes us so fed. Mastery is right here. Uh, there's other people coming as well. Okay. My ignite didn't help as much. I got the moment speed, but it wasn't enough. Hello, Fiora. Oh, she's gonna press R. Let's try. I got my team here. Hmm. Okay, I, I was holding my stun for a while there. Because I wasn't sure if she was going to parry or not. But I guess she already parried, but I just didn't see it. We're going to take uh, Mastery's camps right now. Ooh, Blue Buff also spawning. We're gonna drag it towards here so we can move to the lane faster. Okay, we can go back. We're getting close to my item. We need like uh, 250 gold right now. We've got a 100 CS lead over Fiora right now. I'm not going to take the turret because it takes too long to take it. Instead, I'm just going to go mid. Maybe we can catch uh, Fiora right here. There's no wards. She doesn't see it. <laughs> Alright. This, this, this guy seems like he gave up. Nice try. Very nice try. We can also go bot lane and take all the turrets there as well. Uh, before going bot lane, I'll just path towards there but and also take the camps. Mastery is also bot lane. I think he's probably taken this camp already. No, actually he didn't. I think Mastery is going to show up. He's probably going to try to take the camp right now, so just stay here. Watch this. I'm pretty sure he's gonna pass. Oh, 
Looks like they already know. Eh, there were three people. Put my flash right now. I'm just gonna wait for my ultimate, or if they all in right now, we're just gonna beat them all. Oh, I actually died here. They all went for me. <laughs> Look at how much gold we have here. We have 3.7k gold to spend right now. So we can... Let's just get Black Lever here. Uh, since they have fewer with Master Yi, uh, we are just going to go with that stance. Let's push mid. All we have to do is just uh, get the Herald right now and then push mid. We don't really need anything against Diana, to be honest. She doesn't really do that much damage. They mainly have like 80 damage here. Like Fiora, Mastery, and uh, Misfortune. Oh, let's move down there and let's take them out. My spirit is not lost. Hello there, Diana. Thank you. I'm I'm too too strong right now. There's also Miss Fortune right here. Let's see what she's gonna do. I can use the corner cut. Maybe he's gonna try to take the camp? No. You see guys, we're constantly just rotating lanes, camps, getting kills, being everywhere. Fiora's currently 0 and 10. She's completely out of the game here. Oh, we could take some more kills. Let's see. They're not gonna jump on me. I got my ultimate in like two seconds. Thank you. Let's take the red buff too, and then we're probably going to back off. Ooh, he's giving us the red buff. He's not stealing it from us. Okay. Now we have death stands. We could maybe just go for Hydra in this game since we're already winning this hard, but uh, actually, let's just go for Star Gauge. Never mind. We're just going to go for the ultimate regular build. Let's go bot lane. Four of them are currently bot lane. Got him. Yeah, this game is over. <laughs> I mean, we're so strong right now. <laughs> every every auto we do does like 500 damage. We are also worth like a thousand gold, so we shouldn't die right now. Keep in mind, guys, if you're like this, if you're worth like this amount of gold and you die once, like a thousand gold is similar to having like three or four kills. It's a lot of kills.
Uh, wait. Yeah. Let's go mid. We're just gonna push this out. There's actually a fight here, but I don't mind. They can fight if they want to, I'll just get the turret. If even if they even if my entire team dies right now, I'll just clean it up with my flash. So whatever. Let's see what they do. Yeah. Looks like they're gonna fight. I'm just gonna end the game. I really don't care if they fight right now. Nice. Let's get turrets. Oh, there's number two coming. And there is number three. No? Okay. No number three. Hmm, wait. What is he gonna do? Oh, I got hit by the stun. Uh, oh, I'm actually gonna die here. <laughs> uh, I, I I saw the parry. My idea was to third Q right behind him. So I could still use my Q, but still like dodge his parry. But I actually got hit on the edge of the of the back of his parry. And this, the parry stun, it takes a really long time, so if you get stunned, it's, you, you're gonna die. Ray Brand has directly flashed into them. Alright. I need like 40 gold for my Steric Gauge. Twenty. I'll just wait for my Steric Gauge. Surprisingly enough, they actually got more dragons than we do. Okay, the last item we're gonna get is gonna be Guardian's Angel. At this point, my Steric Gauge is now up. They're not gonna kill me anymore. I'm just gonna tank so much with my Steric Gauge right now. They actually managed to steal the dragon here. All right. Nice. I'm just gonna move mid and uh, take another turret. See if I can maybe end. This guy can—he can just push if he wants to. I don't really know why he's backing off, to be honest, but. I don't really know why Kaisa was backing up there. Yeah, Mastery couldn't do anything. Diana's getting caught right here. He had no choice. She doesn't do any damage. Wait, let me get the perfect CS. Hold on. Okay, let's just end. Let's see how much LP we gain from this placement game. Let's see. I'm. I think. I think we're probably gonna promote right now. I think probably. Anyways, guys, episode number seven of the Unranked to Master. We are about to promote to Iron One. There we go, guys. Um, placement number seven. Currently got seven wins out of ten so far. Uh, we've done a total of 35k damage. Uh, these were the stats for the runes. Thank you for watching today's uh, episode of the Unranked to Master. Also, this game is being played live on stream. Link inside the description. Don't forget to check out, guys. Stream me like, stream me like every day. But yeah, Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.